egg noodles, and chicken paprikash. Never in my life have I made Hungarian chicken paprikash until today. Waiter, there is too much pepper on my paprikash. Waiter, there, there is, is too, too much, much pepper. pepper. On my paprikash. On my paprikash. You guys, welcome back to the vlog. Oh, so glad that you joined me. This winter in Chicago, it's all about comfort meals. And today, there's nothing more comfort than this bowl. This recipe made possible this entire video created because of Aaron O'Donnell. This recipe came together oh so beautifully because of the vigilant, the organized as hell, Aaron O'Donnell. Prep Sean hard at work today after an eight hour day of work on the computer. Let's bang our way through it. Via Aaron's recipe, I melted two tablespoons of butter and I cooked all sides of three pounds of chicken. We removed that, put it on a plate, and then added two full chopped onions. I didn't cry at all, which was totally awesome. <laughs> You're a bitch. When those browned up, we tossed in our chopped fresh garlic and a couple of rough chopped tomatoes. Fried those for a couple minutes, removed the pot from the heat, and stirred in the paprika. A teaspoon and a half of salt, teaspoon of pepper, you do not want to burn paprika, Aaron said. We did it off the burner. This oniony, paprika-y mash, it's just highly concentrated, banging with flavor, you can tell. We put the chicken back in the pot, placed it back over the heat, poured in just a scooch over two cups of chicken broth, so it's just about covered, and then we bring it to a boil, cover it, and reduce the heat for 40 minutes of simmer in action. Top going on. Simmer low, 40 minutes. I'll be back in 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Wait, 40 minutes? How are we looking? Oh yeah, that Hungarian style of slow cooking. This kitchen smells immaculate. Then we removed that chicken, put it in a bowl, and then it was time to make what makes chicken paprikash sing. Our smooth, creamy paste. Flour, heavy cream, and sour cream. Stir that together, and then throw it in the pot. Stir in our cream here. Get us that thick, thick. Chicken goes back in. Stir this in and then simmer for eight to 10 minutes. Then we're putting it over these delicious egg noodles. Eggy pappardelle. Basically a Hungarian chili over egg noodles. I mean, come on. Oh my God. I think I love you. And then bang a rang, we're here. Egg noodles are such a staple of my childhood. I really don't buy them that often, stupidly. They're so incredible. Ali found this brand in the store we had to get them. So we snagged two boxes of these, eight ounces each. And then this thick sauce and the slowly Hungarian style of cooking of just like slowly, slowly simmering all these flavors together. Aaron, I can't thank you enough for sending this recipe to me for the vlog. Also a $50 donation from Aaron for doing this, for getting supplies. Enough talking, let's get into this chicken paprikash. This chicken paprikash is delicious. Remember when people would say, that's poppycock. This is different, right? <laughs> Cheers. Those Hungarians know how to cook. Salty, peppery, creamy, texture from the nice noodles. The chicken falls apart from that slow cook. The paprika has such a nice, like, little sweet flavor. Oh my God, it's just, this is like, I know it's Hungarian, this is the Midwest in a bowl. Oh my God. Like, throw a show on, make yourself a heaping bowl of this, and just plenty of bites, and this will last you like the entire episode, if you have self-control, which, I most of the time don't. I'm trying to get better at eating slowly. Anybody else, show of hands, bad at eating slowly? You're going too fast. I've gotten better at it for sure, but could really work on it. 2024, I'm a work in progress, my babies. Should change how I talk though. It is everything that it looks like it is. <laughs> Something I coined a long, long ago. It's like your intestines, your heart, your innards, put on like one of those Canadian goose 
coats. <laughs> it's like your insides are wearing a winter coat. Nobody cares, Sean. Meals like this too, it's just been simmering. It just holds its heat so well. Like everything stays hot for like an hour. Built-in heating bag. We need to put some more respect on the egg noodle game stat. Not enough people talk about it. It's a big flat noodle. Well, I don't want a big flat noodle. <laughs> well, what kind of noodle do you want? Who says I want a noodle? It's the comfort food noodle. Should I take smaller bites? Yeah. Wowza. What a fun way to make chicken breasts way better. It just dissolves from that cook. Some fun things to learn about chicken paprikash. It has a quote, family resemblance to goulash, which is also a paprika dish. Very traditionally in Hungary, they serve it with egg noodles. This dish even predates people using paprika. Branded as just a one pot chicken stew, favored by the poor, because it was so inexpensive to get everything you needed for this, like a large quantity of onions. Just an easy, quick, little post-work dinner here today. What are things that de-stress you, like after work? Some people go for a run or take a workout class, some people meditate, some people read, some people turn on the TV. In the last year, cooking for me has been like the thing. Following instructions, judging and improvising where I need to and want to, and starting with nothing, and then at the end having this. When I lay down at night, it makes me feel like I had like such a well-rounded day. And chicken paprikash is spades in that equation. I am so excited to go sit down, finish this, relax, and then hope Lionel does the dishes. <laughs> Not a lot of dishes in this recipe, actually. Like, I kind of looked at everything, I was cleaning throughout, I was like, this is actually an easier meal. I hate a lot of dishes. Aaron, you can do no wrong. Another bang up job. I can see Americans dolloping like more sour cream on top of this, like an even another coolness factor. <laughs> I, see that. I hope this little quick video was fun. Let me know if you've ever had chicken paprikash, if you make it, what you kind of do to make it yours. And if not, make this. This is such a comfort meal. No matter where you live, you'll feel good. Oh my goodness. This would be so good over rice too. If you like this vlog or you want to see me make something specific, the Venmo, the PayPal, the Cash App linked right there. You can do that. They're below as well to click on. And as always, the Rory Boyle Fan Club, five bucks a month. My board of directors, these people spend five bucks a month to keep this vlog going. It's incredible. The link is below to join that if you want your name on screen. Good things. Good things this winter. Good vibes into 2024's February, which is my birthday month, which this year has 29 days, the birthday month gains another day. This dish does everything right. Aaron, your chicken paprikash recipe up. Aaron, your chicken paprikash recipe down. No matter if you live in Hungary or Joliet, Illinois. I don't know why I chose that. <laughs> Be good to each other. I love you guys. Mm. Oh.